Good morning. Hosea, chapter 14, verses 2 and 3 states, Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. Asher shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. Ye are our gods, for in thee the fatherless find it mercy. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven this morning, how grateful we are for this privilege that you have granted us that our lives are spared. We are in the land of the living to see this brand new Monday morning, one that we have not seen before and one that we'll never see again. We thank you for the protection of your angels over us while we slept last night, kept us from harm and danger, robbery, murders. We just praise you this morning, Lord, because you are greatly to be praised. We ask that you would come into our midst now and grant us a blessing that as we sit at the feet of Jesus this morning and listen to his words. May we so ask that our steps be directed by him, that we will follow you all the way. Bless everyone that came to the line this morning and those who are still coming. May we all receive a rich blessing today. And when we would have left this place, we would be able to say, 
To God be the glory, great things he has done. We ask these favors with thanksgiving. In Jesus' worthy name, amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. What a privilege it is to be able to welcome all of you here this morning from wherever you have come. Whether all around the Bahamas, the United States, Australia, from wherever you are listening this morning, we say welcome. And I am your moderator, Naomi Monker. And along with me, Pastor Yon and Sister Dorset, Sister Jessica Dorset, Elder Warren and Sister Carla Rogers, Sisters Marie Martin, Linda Gibson, Maxine McDonald, and Brother Dwayne Daly Jr. Join me in saying welcome to all of you. I trust that you will be blessed this morning from our service and you will take from it words to someone else that would make them a better person today. Welcome. Our scripture reading now will be brought to us by Sister Joan Flowers, and she will be reading Luke chapter 8, verses 26 to 31. Sister Joan Flowers. If she is not on, I will read it for you. Luke chapter 8 and voices 26 to 31. And I'm reading from the King James Version. And it reads thus. And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes, which is over against Galilee. And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man which had devils long time and was no clothes and wore no clothes, neither abode in any house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God, most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters and he break the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him saying, what is thy name? And he said, legion 
because many devils were entered into him and they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. Thus ends the scripture reading. Amen. Our opening song this morning will be brought to us by the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Praise Team, and they will be singing, The King is Exalted. Amen, Sister Naomi. And just before we go into that song, I have the privilege of introducing the one who will be doing the Bible study this morning. Our presenter is a ministerial intern at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church in Nassau, Bahamas, who grew up in a small church and he loves small congregations. He did his studies in pastoral ministry or religion and theology at the Adventist Theology School in France. His name is Elder Rumiko Young. So as Sister Naomi mentioned, we are going to have the song from the Hillview Praise Team. And then the next voice that we will hear will be that of Elder Rumiko Young. May you be richly blessed. Amen.
Jesus Christ is Lord. He is our Savior. He is our friend. Good morning, children of God. I thank God and I thank Sister Gibson for the invitation to speak with you this morning. Please pray with me now. Father God, put your words in my mouth. Touch my words, Father. Touch my tongue, touch my lips, that what I say be something that will edify, that will inspire, that will encourage. God, I am a sinner, so I ask, Father, that you would cleanse me from my unrighteousness. Forgive me of my sins, Father, and hear my prayer. Be with us now. May our hearts join in unity as we speak about you and open your word. In Jesus' holy and precious name I pray, amen. Good morning once again, children of God. This morning, I would like to speak to us today under the title, Lucid Moments. Have you ever one morning just laid in bed and let your mind wander? And as your mind drifts, you find yourself reliving past experiences, old arguments that you've had, decisions that you've made, and you find yourself saying, if I had done that, I would be, and then we can fill in the blank. If I had done that, I would be rich. If I had done that, I would be ahead in life. If I had done that, I would be slim. This is what I call a lucid moment, a moment of clarity where your thoughts and actions and the consequences of those actions are clearly laid out before you. You can easily connect all the dots from thought to consequence. And sometimes during these moments, you can't help but smile. On the other hand, sometimes I feel disappointed when I have these moments because I'm confronting the past mistakes that I've made. During lucid moments, you're analyzing your current situation and you can pinpoint the exact moment where you thought about the possible outcomes before you make a decision, the good and the bad. And you see now that that chance you took was far from brilliant. And saints, I am here to encourage you this morning and tell you that in spite of these decisions, in spite of you, in spite of the decisions that you have made, you made it through. God has kept you this far. And because he has brought you through, we can rejoice. You can rejoice. Psalms 107 tells us, let the one who is wise heed these things and ponder the loving deeds of the Lord. The psalmist is telling us that you are wise if during a moment of clarity, during a lucid moment, you are able to identify and learn from your previous mistakes. And at the same time that you are identifying and learning from a mistake, reliving choices that you've made, we search for the loving nature and character of God, our Heavenly Father, because His hand is always near us. He would never leave us nor forsake us. And so in these moments, as we look back from the position where we are now, we can trace his hand and see where his love has brought us through. Lucid moments, brothers and sisters, allow us to make real realizations. And these realizations then help us to change. Help us to transform from the inside out. But how? Let's read once again Luke 8, verse 26 to 31. I'll read in your hearing. They sailed to the region of the garrisons, which is across the lake from Galilee. When Jesus stepped ashore, 
he was met by a demon-possessed man from the town. For a long time, this man had not worn clothes or lived in a house, but had lived in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell at his feet, shouting at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I beg you, don't torture me. Verse 29, For Jesus had commanded the impure spirit to come out of the man. Many times it had seized him, and though he was chained hand and foot and kept under guard, he had broken his chains and had been driven by the demon into solitary places. Verse 30, Jesus asked him, What is your name? Legion, he replied, because many demons had gone into him. And they begged Jesus repeatedly not to order them to go into the abyss. Imagine with me for a moment this scene. Gusts of wind lash the sides of the cliff. Waves crash against the rocks. The graves dug into the rock face are visible. A man is there and he's shivering. He has managed to escape, but he is naked and wounded. And in the pit that serves as his refuge, he tries once again to soak up the pain of his solitude. Why is he here? Does he even know? The choices of his past, his personal history, have left him here. Memories of his troubled journey creep into his mind. Only one thing is clear to him now. He has become the prisoner of a death trap. He's possessed. Before this scene, earlier in the book of Luke, Jesus performed a miracle. He came to the rescue. He calmed the fears of his disciples on the shore. As they sailed across the lake, to this place where Jesus makes this encounter with this demon-possessed man, he had just calmed the storm in front of his disciples. He had proven himself to be the son of the living God. And now as he steps ashore, after calming that storm, he's met by this demon-possessed man. This man who also experienced the same storm that Jesus had just possessed. He had felt the same wind that lashed brutally against the boat that caused the disciples to think that they would perish. He felt the rain, cold, fall on his skin, the same rain that the disciples felt as they looked to Jesus to save them from the storm. Jesus calmed the storm, but the Demon-possessed man had no idea that it was him. And as the demon-possessed man sat there under the cold rain in the middle of a lucid moment, a moment of clarity, a moment of reflection, an idea from the depths of his soul came back to him, an idea of freedom an idea of peace, peace, that that we need in the world today, peace, an idea that he can be better. Suddenly, it stopped raining. The wind fades, the clouds part. On the suddenly calm lake, the silhouette of a boat moving forward. And this forsaken man runs to the shore, to the boat, to the feet of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This seemingly random lucid moment where a demon-possessed man regained consciousness of his shunned and forsaken situation has paved the way for a real-life encounter, a real realization of the one true living Son of God. Saints, 
when you are forced to live moments where you feel defeated, thrown away by friends and family to tombs, figurative tombs of loneliness and disappointment, turn to Romans 8.37 and say with confidence, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Turn to Psalms 23 verse 4 and repeat aloud, even though I walk through the darkest valley among the figurative tombs, I will fare no evil, for you are with me. Brothers and sisters, we must always remember the promises of Jesus during the storm so that we can find him on the shore after he has calmed that storm, after he has said, peace be still to the storm in our lives. Verse 30 of Luke 8. Jesus asked him, what is your name? Legion, he replied, because many demons had gone into him. Because many demons had gone into him. The theologian Robert Badna says, anyone dominated by a form of evil is in some way possessed. It's like you had the control, but at the same time, it's like you didn't have it. You face an obstacle or you come at a crossroads where you can go left or right. The decision is yours. The choice is yours. The power is in your hand. You have the control, but it's like you don't. You cannot persuade yourself, even though you think of the good and the bad, you cannot persuade yourself in that moment to make the decision you knew was the right choice, the wise choice. Sometimes when we realize who Jesus is and what he expects of us, we give him the cold shoulder because we're not ready to surrender that day. But the possessed man, the possessed man standing before Jesus confessed to him, my name is Legion. Call me Legion because we are many. In other words, he's saying to Jesus, I've done so much bad. I have lived with so much regret, so much shame. My past is so great that people only know me by my past. The people around me, they only bother to call me by my sins. They only know me by the mistakes that I've made, not by my name. My sins, they are very identity to him and to those around him. But for Jesus, but for God, this was not the case. And it is not the case for us today. And so we come this morning in unity in unison, looking to God, bringing our requests to God because he sees us for who we are and he accepts us anyway because he has the power to change us. Like the possessed man, we are half victim, half accomplice of an overpowering tyrant. That tyrant ego, selfishness, greed, arrogance. At Jesus' feet, he cries out, he shouts, and then a moment of silence. The man doesn't dare look up from the ground, fearing he's scared Jesus away like he's done to all the other people in his life. He fears he's missed his chance at real change. But in a moment, his eyes meet the determined, loving face of Jesus who continues to hold his gaze, who looks him in his eyes with love and tender mercy. Lucid moments bring us to real realizations. And these realizations, this realization of who we are in front of Jesus Christ, the realization of who Jesus Christ is the perfect son of God 
allows us to make, allows us access to transformation, allows us to open ourselves up to Jesus so that he may change us. This scene in verse 28 is human behavior. In critical situations, we tend to defend ourselves against the one who wants to help us. We know we need the help. We want to ask, but sometimes we refuse the hand that is offered, maybe because of pride, maybe because of self-righteousness or independence. But this demon-possessed man opens himself up and allows Jesus to change him. Matthew 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Jesus is there to save. Jesus is there to change, to restore, to give this demon-possessed man rest. The good news is not only does Jesus not fear him, he values him. In defiance of his satanic possession, he treats him simply as a man in pain. Jesus doesn't treat him according to his merit, but according to his need. Jesus completely disregards who he is in his present possessed condition. He sees him only in terms of what he might become through contact with him. For Jesus, this man is not defined by the terrible reality of possession. And neither are we. We are not defined by our sin. We are not defined by our past. We have access to God. We can walk boldly yet humbly before his throne through Jesus Christ. Allow Jesus to change us today. We are asking this morning as we pray one for another for Jesus to change us in our situations today. We can allow him to change us today and he can change our tomorrow. And he did it for the Gadarene, he'll do it for us. Lucid moments bring us to real realizations, which allow us to change. Pause. Have a lucid moment. Allow the dots to connect in your mind as I close, as you think about God's long-term game of salvation and your place in it, as you think about today, what are we risking by not allowing the Holy Spirit to stop us from doing everything we want? We risk nothing. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you that Jesus is the way. He is the answer. We risk nothing by running to him and sitting at his feet. In fact, we gain everything by humbling ourselves. So as we are here today, this morning, ready to Beseech the throne of God in the name of Jesus. We thank him for what he has done. We thank him for what he is about to do. We thank him for the change that he is about to work in the lives of the people that we know and care about. This morning, I join with David today in saying as he did in Psalms 34, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. 
This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. It is my prayer that each and every one of us here on this Zoom call be blessed, that we be lifted to higher heights, and that the saving grace of Jesus and his transformative power take root in our lives and in the lives of the people that we love and care for. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. We thank you, Elder Young, for that powerful teaching this morning. And may God continue to bless you as you walk in his footsteps, proclaiming his word. Our prayer for participants and their requests will now be done by Sister Linda Gibson. And following Sister Linda, our closing prayer of thanksgiving will be done by Sister Lorraine Miller. In that order, please. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for being the king and that you are exalted. We exalt you. We exalt your name. We thank you for waking us up to see another morning. And we thank you for the presentation, Lucid Moments bring us to real realizations. We thank you for Pastor Elder Romiko Young. Lord, we pray that you will continue to endow him with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. Father, you continue to direct his steps. His steps are ordered by you. So we praise you and we thank you for him. We ask that you be with his entire family his parents and his siblings, and that you get all the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your great love and your great mercy towards us. We thank you that you are God who are from everlasting to everlasting. You are eternal. And we also thank you for being long-suffering and gracious and merciful towards us that you draw us with your loving kindness, as it says in Jeremiah 31, 3. And in Psalm 24, 1, you are the owner of all of the world. And you promise to strengthen us in all our difficulties as you did the man possessed of legions of demons living among the tombs, as it says in Isaiah 41, 10. We thank you for strengthening us. We thank you, Lord. And I ask that as I continue that you forgive this lump of clay of her sins and cleanse her from all unrighteousness. Father, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit on the inside. And I ask that you forgive every single one of us, those who have gathered on YouTube and those who are on Zoom. And as I continue, Father, we ask for your divine presence in and among us and help us to take you out as we go out today that we will share you with others in the marketplace. And as I continue, I lift up Pastor Jorn Dorset, Sister Jessica Dorset, Charity, Grandma Iva McCarty, Sydney and Barbara Dorset, Ellsworth, Ianthe Akanathan, Gabrielle and Mariah, Mr. Kelly, Sister Veronica, Duran and Bradshana, Kea, Kaylee, Tia, Nathaniel and Vanessa, Sister Marie Martin, her mom Elaine and Brother Omar. We thank you for 
sister Naomi Munker and Elder Henry Munker and their entire family. We thank you for Sister Joan Flowers and her family in a special way. We also lift up Sister Carla Rogers and Elder Warren Rogers, their daughters, Cara and Karen, parents, Sylvia Curtis and Pamrika Rogers, Aaron, Nikisha and Margaret. I lift up the family of Brother Dwayne Daly Jr., Sister Maxine McDonald, Elder Orville and her son Jerome and her entire family. And Father, I ask that you be with my family also, my son Jonathan, Aliwe, my sister Barbara, her daughters Morgan, and Lorraine and Lorraine's family, Kenny, Lily, and BK. We thank you and praise you for what you will do for the families of the 57 persons who are gathered on YouTube. Lord, we ask that you will cover every single one and that you will be with Annadelle Wiley, Valerie Young, Revelation 2317, the persons logged on as Esme Seymour, Eric and Carletta Roll, Portia and Steve Barnett, Bernice and Elder Marcus Bain, Dorothy Henfield, Yvonne Adderley, Leader Walters, Maxine Braisha and DeMarco Rollins, Dorothy Hanfield, Tamika Findlay, Patsy De La Taboudia, Marina Bethel, Alicia Ramming, Sharon Musa, Melvern Roll, Tawisha Ewan, Angela Ferguson, Sharon Miller, Peggy Seymour, Joy Khan, Charlene Kelly, Beverly Hines, Bernadette Hunter, Michelle Newman, Marilyn Janssen, Olive, Olive, Olive Sterling Johnson, Rita Bennett, Samantha Saunders, Sister Ethel and Dr. Joseph Evans, Viola Albury, Densi Brown, Irma Mitchell, Christopher Stewart, Asarita, we ask that you continue to be with all those persons whose names I cannot see, but they are present and listening in on YouTube. We ask that you will cover them, that you will give them mercies. And Father, we continue on Zoom with the 106 persons here. We ask that you will continue to be with Sister Lorraine and Brother Clyde Miller. We ask that you continue to be with Brother Romico, Elder Romico Young, Adelma Roach, Elaine and Patricia Crichton, Alicia, Arlington Wood, Arnold Clark and family, uh, Betty Tinker, Blondell Ferguson, Cassandra Forbes and Elder Roger Forbes, Charles, Elder Charles and Carmita Ramming, Charlotte Kalma, Cheryl Ariel, Ariel and Ariel Bodie. Clara McPhee, Clarence and Charlotte Bryce, C.R., Curleen, Cynthia Lightborn, and Enola Daly, Damali, Damani, Kalantha, and Marvis David, Darnell Johnson, Derek Sally, and Dorica Bodie, Diana Miller, Donna Hannah, Doreen Butler, Dr. Mandy Lund Dr. Amanda Lundy Ferguson, Dr. Antoinette, and Brother Stephen Darling, Edith Roach. We ask that you be with Elder Doris Johnson, Elder John Carter, Alame and Macario Blyden, Elmar Jacques and Brian Jacques, Elsie Ashanti, Frank Patrick and Frankie Richardson, Enid Roll and family, Estelle Gibson, Esteline Ash, F and E Benneby, Francita Toshika, Toshina and Devon Stewart, Fred Wallace, Freeman Kelly, Jolita Humes and children and grandchildren, Greta Camp, Gwen Gibson, Harriet Hartman and Stacy Strawn, Ingrid, Jackie Cartwright, Irma, Ivan and Sharon Brown, Jacqueline and Alexander and family, Janet Patterson Curtis, Janice Tony Taran, Brandy, Jada and Jaden, 
Joanne, Julian Sr., Julian Jr., Sammy, Selena, Easter, and Ian, Julie, Davis, Cody, leaders of Lord God Almighty, Lee Strawn, Leona Morris, Leona, Leone, and Elder Patrick Wilson, Elder Lester and Sister Cindy Stewart, Lillian Roll, Liz, Lorraine Leith, Lorraine Clark and family, Lorraine Mabel Johnson, Lyndon and Janet Roll, Made on Ramming, Magdal T, Marceline, um, McCarty, Mariette Ferguson, Marina Pratt, Marjorie Ramming and family, Melanie Jason Arthenic, Melvern's family, Mo McClymont, Maureen Cooper, Natasha Brown, Nathalie, um, the Long Island District, Olive Thomas, Olivia Mortimer, Pastor Jay Duncan and Sister Joan Duncan and the Holy Land Replica and team, Patricia, Patricia Brown, Patricia Roberts, Priyada Gibbs, Rebecca Johnson, Roy and Jacqueline Brown, Ruth E. Walks, Sam Katrina and Sam Jr., Samsung, person listed here registered on Samsung SM, Sharon Brown, Siobhan, Marcus, Patricia, Hesney, and Hesney Wilson, and family, Elder Sydney and Pearl Sylvester, Sister B. Clark, Sister Tamika Marshall Coley, uh, Victorine Wallace, Ronald, Kevon, and Ricky, Sister Winsome Flowers, Zemarine Brown, Karen, Karan, and Keyshawn. Father, we ask that you will cover all these families and those who are listening in at this time. And we now turn our attention to those requests that are on YouTube. Father, we ask that you will be with all the requests on YouTube. We ask you to come divinely near to those who need you at this hour. We cover the siblings of Portia Barnett, her nieces and nephews and their families in prayer. And Lord, we know that you are able and that you will listen to our requests according to your holy will. We pray for Sister Beverly Hines, um, continuing in prayer for herself and her family. We also present the request of Sister Bernadette Hunter, uh, giving thanks for keeping her and her family and for providing the funds for the electricity job for her house. We also ask that you be with um, her request for Alexander, Omar, Donald, Janine, Craig, Sheldon, Ray, um, Raymond, uh, Anna Kay, David, and Fitzgerald. Lord, help them to surrender to you. We also present Sister Bernadette Hunter's prayer, praying for Anne Marie Edwards, Vaughn Blake and other patients who are sick at this time. We ask for your divine intervention. We also present the request of Sister Ethel Evans, praying for her family, her siblings and their families that they may be blessed and be drawn closer to you and praising God for his many blessings and goodness. Um, thanking God for life. And we present Sister Ethel's three unspoken requests. We also join in with Sister Emma Mitchell, thanking God for safe travels and continuing in prayer for salvation, protection, and covering for her family and grandchildren, Elijah and Karis, and Lord, the pain in her body and her unspoken requests. Father, we also continue joining in with those who are thanking you for waking them up for your tender love and mercies and faithfulness towards us. We also um, present the request of Sister Tamara Johnson, praying for herself, her children, her husband, and her unspoken requests. And we also pray for Anora, the children, grandchildren, and family for healing, deliverance, and protection and conversion. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory and now we turn our attention to those requests that are on Zoom at this time. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to intervene in covering those requests that are there. We present Sister Lee's request, um, praying for 
her family and herself and that they be covered by the blood and righteousness of Jesus Christ and to restore us spiritually and physically by the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit to be living testimonies unto God, to reflect God's character of love and to be sealed until Jesus comes or calls. And Lord, we also petition on behalf of Sister Betty Williams, who is still sick in hospital. Father, we ask for your divine intervention according to your holy will for Sister Betty Williams. We also present Sister Rosemary DeVoe's request, praying for her knee and still thanking God for all things and through all things for her. We also present Sister Patricia's request for salvation, healing, deliverance, agape, love, wisdom, true repentance for joy and favor for Elaine and Patricia, Victorine, Chlorine, Stacy, and Hartman, Jacqueline and Alexander, Patricia Brown, um, McKinney, Munker, Cooper, Roll, Dean, Humes, Curry, w Wallace, Softly, uh, George, Hillman, Kalma, Bastian, Martin, Madden, Kevon, Good Luck, Nishon, Ella, Angel, Shamar, Unique, Alfred, Krishna, Patrick, Joy, Jonathan, jo Jerome, Anya, and Spencer, Peaches, Michelle, Lucille, Tracy, Maudlene, Anton, Alvin, Paul, Andrew, and Sandra, Ma, Col Colric, Colin, Donna, Bonnie, Onika, Mandisha, David, Ronnelly, John, Vincent, Raya, Rhea, Ethic, um, Ethan, Jordan, Philip, Ashley, DeVoe, Devika, Lily, Noel, Annie, Candice, Harold, Mark, Ricardo, Junior and Senior, Hartman and Junior, Hartman Junior, Leandra, Cherise, Prince and P BJ. Please, Lord, save and seal us, their families, siblings, parents, relatives, friends, children, grandchildren, and for eternity according to your holy will and sovereign power. This morning, we present a request of Sister Barbara praying for the Guillaume family this morning. Sister Margaret was taken to hospital. Father, we ask for your divine intervention and healing on behalf of Sister Margaret Guillaume. Lord, we present the request of Sister Karen. We ask, um, asking you, Lord, to keep her and her family in prayer. And Lord, we pray for her sons, Kishon and Kiran, and for her unspoken requests for God's continued guidance. Lord, we pray for Sister Zemreen for her, the pain in her. She has a headache, Lord. We ask that you will keep her and you will ease the pain in her head. And Lord, we thank you and praise you for Sister Zemreen. We also ask that you be with the requests of um, all of the others. And we, Sister Enid is thanking you for the encouraging and inspir inspiring word today through the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we present Sister Edith's request, praying for herself um, and, and that she will have lucid moments and for the needs of those on her prayer list and for her unspoken requests. We also ask that you be with Sister Alicia's request, um, remembering her family, her friends and co-workers, that you will cover them in the blood and righteousness of Jesus and that they will make and seek God in salvation. Lord, help her work program, supply all of her needs. Help Kevin and Teresa to overcome substance abuse. And Lord, please restore their minds and be with her unspoken requests. Be with Sister Janice. Prayer for her household, her family and friends. Special prayers for Tehran and family. Grant them wisdom and health of mind and body. Lord, may they depend on you and May you refine their characters that they may be beacons of light in their community. Lead, guide, direct, protect, and save them. We also lift up Sam and Katrina's request for healing, deliverance, and salvation for all family members. Lord, we also ask that you be with Sister Lorraine's request, praying for all who is traveling today. We pray for her daughter who is traveling. Also, we pray for her brother Dean and daughter for healing, and we pray for her family. Lord, we thank you for Elder Young for the fresh illumination of the word, his insightfulness, and continue to bless him. Pour your blessings upon him as he moves forward in your calling. We also present Sister Delma's praise of thanks 
for her, for your goodness and mercies and for answered prayers. Father, we thank you for all the answered prayers that you have um, answered on our behalf. We thank you for Sister Janet and Shauna McDonald. We ask that you will be with us as we go through this untried week. Be with Antonio Kiki, who's giving you thanks, Lord. And Lord, we come presenting and praising you this morning with all these requests. We thank you for hearing and thank you for answering. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, we just want to thank you for all of these participants on this prayer line. Thank you, Lord, for our moderator, Sister Naomi Monka. Thank you for the prayer and the scripture reading. Lord, we want to thank you for Pastor Dorset and Sister Dorset and Charity and for the entire family. Thank you for the song by the Hillview Praise Team. Thank you most of all for the session by Elder Rico Young. Lord, we want to thank you for Sister Linda Gibson. Lord, who is so faithful. And we prayed for our participant request. Thank you for this Long Island 6 a.m. prayer meeting, Lord. Amen. Most of all, we want to thank you for Jesus Amen. and all he has done for us. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Oh, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises under his holy name. Oh, most high. Lord, thank you for your will today in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. 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 This morning, we just want to say thank you to these faithful persons who have given of their time this morning to praise the Lord and to just be here in the presence of the Lord this morning. We want to say thank you, first of all, for the Hillview praise team this morning and giving us that beautiful number to begin our praise this morning. The King is exalted. We say a special thank you to our speaker this morning for the powerful, powerful message that he has given us. I have been blessed and I am sure that all of you would have been blessed also. And our hearts have burned within us as we listen to God's word this morning. We want to say thank you to Sister Joan Flowers, who would have given us the scripture reading. Somehow there were some problems, I assume, with our device, but we thank her for her willingness to what have prayed. We thank Sister Linda Gibson for praying for the participants and their requests. And we thank Pastor Jan Dorset for his part that he played in introducing our speaker. And he is always here with us. We thank Sister Marie for the technical aspect this morning, making sure that everything runs smoothly. And we thank all of our pastors and elders who are on the line this morning. Every day they come to support us and we say thank you for your presence and for your prayers. And I cannot forget to say thank you to Sister Lorraine Miller for that prayer of thanksgiving. 
I just pray that the Lord will continue to bless you, Sister Milo, and give you the desire to go on to work for him. And then what would this meeting have been if those of you on YouTube, on Zoom, were not here this morning? So I thank every one of you for coming and pray that you be blessed today as you go. There is a nugget that I found while reading this past week on prayer, and it simply said this, mature faith does not live by answers to prayer, but by prayer. Mature faith does not live by answers to prayer, but by prayer. I thank all of you for praying every morning on this line and may God continue to bless you all. God be with you till we meet again by his counsels guide uphold you with his sheep securely fold you God be with you till we meet again till we meet Numbers 6 and 24 to 26 tells us, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We invite you, if you have not already done so, to subscribe to the Long Island District YouTube channel, where you will be able to get all the meetings and services that you may not have been able to hear before. If you missed this morning's, you can go to YouTube later and get the service. So, We'd like you to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Happy birthday. 
to all of you celebrating birthdays today. May God grant you many, many more happy years that you will live to serve him. And we say happy anniversary to those who may be celebrating anniversary. It could be a wedding anniversary. It could be a promotional anniversary or whatever type of anniversary you are celebrating today. We say God bless you and may you continue to be successful in living the years that the Lord still has for you. Those of you who are mourning the loss of loved ones or have suffered the death of a loved one, we say to you from 1 Peter 5 and 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. And a reminder from the SDA hymnal number 477 that says, Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. So may the Lord be with you as he heal you in your time of sorrow. The open mic is now available. And you know, we ask you to be brief so that more persons can have something to say if they want to give a remark or whatever. And so you are now permitted to unmute and give your comments. Good morning, everyone. I would like to say thank you to Sister Naomi Manka for her excellent moderation. And to all the platform participants, I would like to say thank you to Pastor Dorset for the technical support this morning. And for those of you who are present, and I'd like to thank God for yesterday being in New Providence, a cloudless sky. To Amen. God be all the glory, great things he is doing. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Sister Linda. I concur with you. Is there anyone else who wants to give God thanks or to give an encouraging way to someone else? Good morning, everyone. We want to thank you, Sister Monka, for moderating this morning. And thank God for the message this morning that has been brought to us. And I pray that all of us have been listening so that we can all be encouraged to do God's work. Good morning, Pastor Dorset, Sister Dorset. May we all have a wonderful day today. And may God continue to be with us wherever we may go. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Thank you, Sister Leone. If there are no others, we would like to say thank you to Sister Linda Gibson for your kind words of encouragement and also to Sister Leonie Wilson. And I sing for you in closing. Thanks for all the prayers this morning. God be blessed. Amen. Thank you, Sister. You too. I am thinking today of that beautiful land. I am thinking today of that beautiful land. I shall reach when the sun over down. When through wonderful grace by my Savior I stand, will there be any stars in my crown? In the strength of the Lord, let me labor and pray. Let me watch as the wind arose. 
that bright stars may be mine in the glorious day when his praise like the sea bellows roll. Oh, what joy will it be when his face I behold living gems at his feet to lay down. It would sweeten my bliss in the city of gold should there be any stars in my crown. Will there be any stars, any stars in my crown when at evening the sun go down, go down? When I wake with the bliss in the mountains, all breathless, will there be any stars in my crown? God bless each of you today and have a blessed day in the Lord. I love you all. God be with you till we meet again.